Hey guys, it's Robin and uh, I've been meaning to do that video for a very long time. One of the most common questions I'm getting on stream is how do I practice my aim? Which I would like to present you right now and this video is going to be in two steps. One is going to be dedicated to purely aim practice and the second one is going to be recoil control. Uh, there is a major difference between the two. Uh, something that you guys have to realize. The timestamp is going to be in the description of the video. So if you want to just skip one part and go straight to the other one, go ahead. Hey, quick update, uh, the video came out to be so long, I'll have to split it into two videos. One is going to be the aim practice and the second how to turn your guns into the laser beam. And I'll be showing like the, exactly how to control the recon on almost every gun in the game. So there you go. Okay, so let's start with the first part of the video, which is the aim practice itself. Um, one thing right off the bat worth to mention is that every single piece of equipment you're putting on your PMC will affect the recoil. How? It's because every... Uh, every piece of the equipment is changing the um, turning sensitivity, which literally means you're changing your sensitivity. There is nothing more important in, in, in like any FPS games than having constant sensitivity. So I highly uh, encourage you to like keep using the same gear if you want to have better results. Uh, for myself, I found that my like I feel my DPI the best with Kill Armor and the ULAC. Then when it comes to gun, uh, make sure that you want to use guns in roughly the same weight and the same ergo because that also affects how much the gun sways and how the how heavy the gun feels and it's super important to keep it the same for for the um, practice purpose what we are going to do is we are going uh, to load in the offline rate um worth to mention that in offline you're not losing anything if you die everything will be back on your pmc so you can literally try to go with any gun you want I highly encourage to go with semi-automatic and the reason for it is because we want to practice aim and not necessarily a spray right now. Semi-automatic will make you actually tap every single time. We, we are trying to go for headshots, so yeah, better use this one. Also, load yourself in with ETG probably. There is going to be a point where scout going to shoot you so badly, you're going to need to heal up and this is the best way. So what you want to do is you want to go to factory, click an offline. This will enable offline mode and uh, you're not losing anything. Enable PvE, put them in easy mode and high or horde would be would be like the best for, for the purpose of the video. The problem is with horde, the FPS can be super low and that actually affects how good you can practice your aim because the lower the FPS, the more inconsistent your aim gonna be. But let's try with the horde mode and see how it goes. One thing I can tell you right off the bat is I have some weird problems with sound whenever I load in offline mode. So I always have to drop my, my uh, headphones or reload the gun and put them back in and the uh, sound is fixed. So now it should be sounding as it always does. And it's also worth to mention that, for example, for me, I like to keep both my sensitivities the same, which is mouse sensitivity and ADS sensitivity. I like to make sure that I'm always consistent, no matter if I'm ADSing or not. I know not a lot of players like it. I personally find that my aim is the best using it like this i've been always playing like that back in cs days too so this is what i um, recommend for myself but this is something you also need to check and see if you like the most now for the practice itself again we are on semi-automatic uh there is no option to change full auto in this gun what you want to do is just find your scuffs and try to tap them don't ever try to spray like super like cut click super fast tap after tap you want to stay ads as much as you can and practice it slowly but surely you're gonna see improvements every single time you're playing you're gonna notice that your reaction is getting faster your flicks are getting better i'm gonna I just kill a bunch of scuffs so there's not that many right now on the map but this is hard mode they're gonna be spawning and coming back here make sure that you always like preempt the angles that you can expect players on you want to keep your crosshair at the head level at all times. So for example, this, whenever I play this angle, I always expect somebody is waiting right here because that's a very common spot if they hear you coming. So whenever I'm running up, up the staircase, you're going to notice that I always run here and then pre, pre ADS on this point. Every single time is the same stuff I'm doing. Uh, recommended because it got me many kills too. But keep your crosshair. I know there is no crosshair, but keep your like... You can imagine where the crosshair is and keep it basically on the head level, not all the time. Now, from another tips, when you finally like are starting with your confidence while being ADS, make sure to turn on your laser on anything that's gonna be visible. And now you wanna practice this. The more you practice with the laser turned on, the more you realize where your gun is pointing to. And this, where uh, having the same constant build across the wall, like 
playing experience is gonna come in clutch because when like it's actually something to do with our brain and how we look at the gun whenever we see the gun and like we kind of understand where it's pointing to it's so much easier to shoot for me even changing the laser from left side to right side is actually changing so much that i can no longer point far as good as i can when the laser is for example on the left side so make sure you're playing with the same build over and over and you'll notice with time that you're just getting better and getting used to it that's also the secret to point fire which also a lot of people are asking me about because point fire is uh, i believe one of my strongest like portion of the aim point fire and the flicks are something that i'm pretty good at and i feel confident with so yeah this is the this is honestly the the secret just use the laser and learn where your gun is pointing to with time you realize that you don't no longer need the laser you can use infrared and you still roughly know where your gun is pointing to with like you know across the border i know the fps is pretty bad right now probably you guys can notice it too but that's what happens in hard mode suddenly even on pretty good pc okay that's how he's below me and remember guys practice make perfect the more you practice the better you will get at it Rome wasn't built in one day and no, neither will your aim okay now for the next part of aim practice routine uh, what i highly suggest to do is actually to control the mouse to understand how the mouse move to make your move smooth because like there is nothing worse than having your arm like choppy like this when you're trying to stay consistent and uh, the way i'm always doing that and you can also see it when i start my game early early into the day i'll just go in raid i'd find a random spot on the map like this one and i would be walking and just trying to stay with my crosshair on the target obviously the bigger the target the easier it gets the closer you are the easier it gets because the target becomes bigger so you just make sure that you're moving turning around turning your you know movement speed turning your angles try to stay on the crosshair the harder uh, sorry the further away the target and the smaller it is the harder it becomes because the movement has to be super precise again let's reset try it again start moving find another target bigger smaller makes your you know hand move a little bit more you can see on my mouse cam how much i'm moving my hand right now make sure that you find your own target and practice it keep in mind that i'm not warmed up i didn't i stopped my stream like a few hours ago so I'm just as rough as it becomes in the morning. Keep it smooth. The longer you practice, I would highly recommend practicing that for like at least five minutes. Um, I would do it probably before the first part I showed you, the scuff part, because the scuff part is actually like a practice. Um, the a practice that I would do right before the game. This is something to just warm up on another point. Try to go there. Now flick from point to the point. Try to stick on the target. It's also worth trying do, to do that on like uh, moving targets. Uh, back in CS days, I could you could load in offline mode uh, with bots, just make them not shoot at all, and they would be moving all the time. So we'd have to practice like that. But since it's Tarkov, there are no bots like that. You can just train on the on the bears that are flying in an unpredictable way. Try to flick to the other one. Go with the other one. This is kind of getting hard for me, but it's still doable. Where is the other bird? Okay, where are you, birdie? Okay, he, he decided to run away. So let's find another lamp you can practice on. And keep moving, keep moving. The more you do it, the better you come, you, you're gonna get. Just make sure to switch it up. Don't go the same targets over and over. Uh, try to find like different spots. Even like windows would work. The guy could be picking in that window. Just keep it up and try to see if there is another guy in different window. You see that thing on top of the building? Flick to it and then go with it. Try to get closer. Turn out. You see the lamp. I know it looks like it's something that... Uh, that's just weird, right? Because you don't really do much. But honestly, getting the smoothness of the mouse is super important. Because very often I see that people are just super choppy. The aim isn't as good when somebody flicks their dude like this. And then coming back because the guy was just here. Make sure that you have the smooth movement. And honestly, just it's better and actually it's easier on your eyes when your mouse movement is getting smoother and you can notice everything and like every 
every enemy on the map it's just it's just better like that okay so now that we have our general idea about recall and uh, how all the gear affects us we also have our smoothness of the mouse um, the last part of recall control is actually practicing the flicks and to stay accurate and my favorite spot is literally right here on the rafters and factory and there is so many little targets like windows that you can practice on how you want to approach it is you have your gun again single mode and then just just go just go and try to flick through every window you can try to reset every shot but honestly this is pretty good practice right right off the bat i don't have bigger round bigger magazines right now but this directly affects your flicks right in here now try to be faster with time obviously you st you're gonna start slow your mouse is not gonna be super accurate but with time just understand you can go faster click between targets i'm not super accurate right now obviously i need some practice this is the routine i would be keeping this is the routine i was always having while playing cs and this is what i might be doing actually if there is something that you didn't understand or you have some questions that i didn't answer in this video make sure to check me out on on my live streams i'm streaming almost every day on twitch tv slash robin uh, i'm going from like early european times for like eight ten hours every day so it would be lovely to have you there hey if you found this video any useful and you got some information for yourself make sure to like the video maybe leave a comment give me some feedback how to improve or what content would you like to see what guides or tips what are you looking for in the channel and hey Thank you so much for everything and hope to see you in the next one.